to my channel. Today my almost six month old baby, Wesley, is joining me. He's back there. And today's video is going to be all about all of our favorite bamboo baby pajamas. I know that is a really random topic and that he does not stay on his back anymore. He instantly rolls over. I know bamboo baby pajamas is like a very specific topic, so I don't know if this will be interesting to anybody, but I feel like I could talk about it and go on and on about it because I am oddly passionate about our baby pajamas. I'm going to be sharing our, it's like, I think I have seven brands here, but like the top five brands are Little Sleepies, Little Bum Bums, which is now Bums and Roses, Kate Quinn, Brave Little Ones, and Caden Lane. And these are all used ones, so you'll be able to see like how well they hold up too. So this is my second baby, and he's pretty much lived in bamboo pajamas for his whole life. He rarely ever wears actual outfits, including right now he's wearing them too. For my first son, he did not. I thrifted like all of his clothes, and I didn't discover these brands until he was like one, one and a half, I think. And what I found, or like how I found them, was I was on the hunt for something to help his eczema because he had really, really dry skin and bad skin that we would like pick at and it was just like flare up really bad sometimes. So I was trying to find something really gentle for his skin. And then Little Sleepies was the first brand that I found that was marketing to parents specifically like with skin conditions and stuff. And I was just hooked from then on, and my son was too. My older son is now three, and he requests bamboo clothes and pajamas now, and he knows the difference because they are super soft and amazing. Okay, let me quickly sort out all the ones we have, and I'll show you guys some differences between the brands because these are all very expensive, especially if you've never heard of this idea before of buying bamboo clothes, and the price tag will scare you away. It did for a while for me until I finally decided to try them out. But now we are in love. You okay, honey? It's like once he learned how to roll onto his belly like this, he forgot to roll back the other way, even though he learned that one first. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys all the different brands and why we like each one. So this first one is Little Sleepies. It was like our first introduction to bamboo baby pajamas. This one is very new, it's only been worn one time, so it's still very bright and colorful. I guess I did say for all of these, they are all super soft, super stretchy, and the appeal to buying bamboo clothes, even though they're expensive, is that because they're so stretchy, they last longer than regular clothes. And that fact is definitely true for us, because Wesley right here is wearing zero to three months. He's wearing little CDs right now, and he is not in zero to three months regular clothes. He's like nine to 12 month, like regular Carter's-ish clothes. And these zero to threes, he's been wearing for months and they still fit him and will fit him for a while. What's also great about these and most of the brands that I have here is that they have convertible feet at the bottom. So you can fold over the feet and make like little socks out of them or footy pajamas. And then once they outgrow that part, then you can, once they outgrow the foot part, then they can just wear it as a romper. So that like really extends the use out of them. So these are zero to three months, like I said, and they still have lots of stretch. As you can see, they're not tight at all. They're super stretchy, so we can wear them for a couple more months, and his feet are currently still in. <laughs> so once he outgrows this part and gets too tall, then I can just unfold his little foot, and then he can just wear it as a romper and wear it for a couple more months after that. This is also one of like the major selling points for me, is these convertible little feet. It's been so handy. That's kind of why I traded most of his clothes and all of my old son's hand-me-downs, not my old son, my son's old hand-me-downs, <laughs> into these because instead of having like a onesie and pants and socks, he can just wear this and it's very cute. And then I don't have to worry about socks because they're always with us, just with the fold-over part. So the Little Sleepies brand, super soft. We love them. We love the fold-over feet. Like I said, this one is really new, so it looks perfect. This one right here I actually bought used on a buy sell trade page. So it has been pilling a little bit, but he's been wearing this for months and we bought it already pretty, pretty decently used. So as far as that goes, it's holding up really well. I don't even know if you can tell, but it's like very slightly pilling, but pretty good. And then this is one of our old favorites. I bought this, I think he was like one month old and it was baggy and now it is like on the end. This is a zero to three months too, but this one 
it's a little bit smaller than this brown one for some reason. And it is ribbed, so they have some ribbed material ones like this. And this one looks pretty much perfect. There's like no rips, tears, like very slight wash wear. This held up really well, this ribbed one. I love getting neutral colors like this because then they look more like clothes to me and less like, why is my baby just wearing pajamas 24 seven? Because you can layer them like with sweaters and I think they just look super cute. So these, I should have looked at the prices where I started this. These have like an always coupon that you can use, a 15% off that's always out there. It's LSVIP. Yeah, that's 15, I think that's it. That's 15% off that you can use like year round. And that brings a total, I think, to like $30 for one. And like I said, I know that's a steep price, but I do think overall they are cheaper than buying regular pajamas that your baby outgrows like every month. But that is the price point for these ones. And they don't usually have sales further than that. I think Black Friday was like their only actual sale. So that's like their pretty standard price. Okay, next I'll talk about these Kate Quinn ones. And actually when I was talking about finding the bamboo pajamas, I we actually found Kate Quinn first with my first son. And I found daywear. They have a lot of daywear there. Most of these other places just have pajamas and sleepwear. Kate Quinn has a lot of like onesies and like actual clothes and that's where I currently buy my older son's like shirts and pants and stuff that he wears now. Okay, so I don't have a lot of pajamas from them. This is the one I have got out to show. I bought this for Wesley when he was a newborn and it does not have the convertible feet so he did not wear it very long. It was really soft and I did love it but because of that feature it wasn't as used as some of the other ones. And this brand does pill a little bit more and like show wash wear a little bit more. And I probably won't buy very many of these again unless they're on like a super sale because of the feet. I think that's like really important and why I like them. But this one was on sale and sometimes they have great sales that make them worth it just because sometimes they'll sell them for like 10, like $15. So that's why I went ahead and got that one. But some of the daywear options that they have this is a new one. This was one I bought this year for Wesley when he was like one or two months. And he has worn this a lot. And because it's so stretchy, this is a size three to six. So this grand one's a little bit small, I feel like, because he was wearing that like a while ago when he was a little baby and it's too small for him now. But I could probably put him in it still just because it's so stretchy, but just getting a little bit tight. And then I have this one. I actually thrifted this one and he wore it for like two or three times while he was a newborn when it was warm out. So it's very little and very cute. And this is one from my first son, size three to six months. This was one that my first son wore a lot and Wesley has worn too. So it is kind of in rough shape. It's pretty faded, it has a lot of pilling, but then again, we did use it a lot. Here's an up close of that. I can show you now that I put him down. The prints that they have, I will say like the, the selling point of K. Quinn is they have the most cute prints, I think. They have tons of different things and they're releasing new things all the time. Like the print on this is just super cute, I think. And like these, the bees are cute. They have lots of like realistic animal and nature prints that I love that aren't super cartoonish. Like the little sea bees are generally like very cartoon kiddish like this one. So just depending on like what style you're after. Okay, this brand is, used to be called Little Bum Bums. That's what's on the tag, but they just switched their brand to be called Bums and Roses now. These are actually the only two that I have from this brand. I think it's the most expensive out of the ones I have here. And the prints like aren't that alluring to me, so I only made these purchases. And the only reason I bought these is because they had a sale that I just wanted to try them. They were like buy one, get one free or like a cheaper mystery bag or something with these two. So I didn't pick the prints on these. I just bought that when they were on sale. Yeah. These were a little size when he was younger. So he didn't wear them too much because they had short sleeves and it was getting cold out. But they have held up really well. I probably only washed them like two times, but there's like no wash wear on them at all. And they feel maybe a little bit thicker than some of the other ones. So like I said, nothing like against this company. This print is actually super cute. I love this. I love like realistic prints over cartoon prints. This one is questionable to me, but 
he did wear them both and they are really soft and nice these ones don't have the convertible feet but they do have that option and like i said i just never like pulled the trigger on anything else from this brand because they're a little bit more expensive and the prints i usually don't like as much so that's the only reason i haven't bought more from them okay next is caden lane this is a company that specializes in like personalized products so we have name blankets from them with my kids names that i actually got them for christmas and i didn't even realize they had actual rompers like this until i went to buy the blankets because i think they're more well known for that and now they're like transitioning to offering more things like this these are two that we've had we've had these a lot so this one is pretty faded i feel like these ones maybe fade a little bit more but we've also washed them a lot so it's hard to tell and i'm not super careful with how i wash things i usually just wash my bamboo clothes together on cold and then just dry them like on low heat so i'm not sure if maybe i treated them a little bit more carefully they would hold up better but i don't really have time to do anything extra than that so this one is pretty faded but it is super cute and i love this one because i buy all colors for my two boys and i like that this was butterflies but still had like blues and like white and brown i just i love this print so my boy rocks butterflies and all prints i don't know if the camera is picking up anything but it is showing some pilling and it's definitely faded because this part used to be white and now it's like grayish same with this one a lot of their prints are on a white background so that might scare you away if you have like a messier child but the background on this one used to be white too but it's not a big deal to me these are definitely the thickest out of all the ones here. They're just slightly, slightly thicker. I mean, feeling them all side by side, they're they're very similar, but the Kate and Lane ones are just a tad bit thicker, I think. And my favorite thing about these ones are the cuffs are a little bit tighter. So if you have a chunkier baby, you might not want that. You might want to steer away from this brand because the cuffs down here are tighter. So if you had a baby with like big chubby ankles, it might be tighter on them but i like that because the footy part stays on my baby's feet more so like when he's in his sleep sack some of like the little cps that are super stretchy like this one when he kicks around in his sleep sack he can like suck his foot like he'll get it stuck like up here because it's so stretchy like this and his foot will come right out of the folded footy parts because these ones are pretty loose but since these ones are tighter they fit him and like stay on him a little bit more which is why I love these ones. The Canaan Lane ones also have more like nature and animal prints like this. I mean, I'm obsessed with this one. I love Highland Cows, so usually the print gets me over the brand because I like all of the brands. So whatever print I fall in love with is usually what I end up going when I need more. Okay, now we have these ones by the brand Brave Little Ones, which is newer to us as in I didn't hear about them until he was probably like three months old and I bought a bunch. I like Brave Little Ones because pretty much all of their prints are very neutral. So they have like just plain neutral colors, they have neutral patterns that are all just very simple, minimalistic, and more my style. I don't know why I can't hold on to this one. So this is one of our first ones and he still fits this. Barely, I'm gonna have to retire it soon, but I love this one. I don't have anything bad to say about these ones either. These ones hold up pretty well in the wash. This one is probably one of our most worn ones because it's like my favorite print out of most of these. And it's pilling a little bit, but not bad and not fading too much and still very soft. I will say my son has one from this brand that has a tiny little hole that he has not worn very much. So I don't know if that's like a random fluke or if other people get holes in theirs. That's the only one from any of these brands of mine that I've ever had a little hole. But it is in my older son's, so he's more like active and running and jumping, so who knows what might have caused it. Here's another one from them. As you can see, just like very minimal, cute designs. This one doesn't have fold-over feet, so some of theirs don't have fold-over feet and some do. I actually just ordered, they had a really big sale, and they were selling an 8-pack for $80. $2, I think, and I just bought one for him in his size up. So that breaks it down to like about $10 for one, which is insane. And none of the other brands like that have big sales at all, at least that I've seen. So they seem like they have like the most sales. Oh, I forgot our last 
one. I was gonna mention kite. Kite baby. Let me run get that sleeper. It's downstairs. Okay, the last one is from Kite Baby. We don't have a lot of these ones either. Currently the only like, sleeper is this one that I have. And it's currently too big for him and I bought this used. So it's used but it looks pretty much brand new. But a lot of my friends buy from there and their kids always are super cute and they're super soft. These ones might be a little bit thicker as well. The reason we haven't bought many more from here is because these ones are also a little bit more expensive than some of the other brands. So I just usually went elsewhere. But what's great about this brand is they have the most like just neutral colors, like solid colors, if you're looking for solids. They have a really big range of just solid colors. But while we don't have tons of like pajamas from them, I do have this blanket. My friend that has her kids like, in Kite Baby a lot gave us this Kite Baby blanket for Wesley when he was born. And we have used this thing all the time. It is so soft, I love it. It's like the perfect thickness, the perfect weight. Because the bamboo material is really thick, it's like slightly weighted almost, it feels like. But Wesley uses this all the time. Like it's like our most used gift out of anything that anyone's given us for him. So I'm obsessed and if I bought like another bamboo baby blanket, I would definitely buy another kite baby blanket because we love this thing. <laughs> Do you like a blankie? This is another one of our most washed things here because we had it when he was a newborn and we, I wash it like multiple times a week. But we still use it like every day and I love it. We also have this teether that's from them that I love the material on. It's a Kite Baby teether. So I stand by their other products even though we haven't tried many of their pajamas. And I love their material. It feels the most different. Most of the other ones feel the same. I don't even really know how to describe it. But it is very soft. Oh, look at your little fuzzy hair. The blanket made his little fuzzy stand up. He's so blonde. All right, I am pretty sure that's all that I wanted to share. I just thought that might be informative if you were trying to decide between brands or just more curious about brand baby clothes in the first place. Although, I'm not sure if I helped you narrow it down because we just like all of them. So, if you haven't tried bamboo baby clothes, I would 100% recommend just trying them. I can't imagine going back. And even if you can't afford like the full price of one of these because even though like they are worth it to me, they're just very expensive still, they have tons of buy-sell trade pages. This one like I bought off of Facebook Marketplace, I think. So they hold their value and their resale value and stuff and a lot of people resell them. So you can find some that are under retail that way. But I think that is everything I want to say about those. Do you have anything to say? Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will say we accept gifts in the form of bamboo baby pajamas. Right, buddy? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but I hope you guys like this video. Someone just rang our doorbell, so I am terrified. Um, we will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. <gasps> Okay, I almost forgot. I just finished filming this video, but I forgot to mention one thing. And I just made Wesley laugh, and it was so cute because he never laughs. But I'm going to edit out the sound that I made to make him laugh. So you guys can stay, watch the end of the video to see the cutest laugh ever. But what I wanted to say was Target um, has this brand. It's Cloud Island. And I think, I don't even know if they sell this in stores anymore. We found this sleeper set when I was pregnant, it came with two, and they're not convertible feet, but the fabric is called Model, M-O-D-A-L, I'm not sure what that is, but this specific, not all Cloud Island, but like this specific sleeper set is equally as soft, stretchy, and amazing as like all of these bamboo clothes. So I'm gonna throw this out there as like a budget option because I'm not even sure where this came from or why people aren't talking about it at Target, but it's amazing. So this is a newborn sleeper that I actually brought to the hospital with me. So that's how much we liked like the feel of this. Like I chose this to go to the hospital with me as well as like some of our bamboo stuff, but here's his newborn ones. And then I recently bought these online for Wesley. Again, like super, super soft, like just as soft as all of his other stuff. And I just bought him this onesie pack. It came with three super, super soft onesies. Um, they're like $13, but they were actually on sale. So I got them even cheaper for three. And I also got him these pants. So he's been wearing these. He's already worn them like three times because they are so soft and amazing and feel like just like the bamboo clothes. Okay, I got it.
gotta go. But I just wanted to say this about this. I'll link this exact like link to these exact ones because I'm pretty sure like these are all the only colors that they sell of that, but I'll let you guys know. But thank you guys so much for watching and this is the for sure end now. Bye guys. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> uh <laughs>